Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Cytosis. This was sent to me by Genius Games, and is designed by John J. Koveyu. Life under a microscope isn't easy. Can you outperform your friends at running the most basic biological unit? Cytosis, a cell biology game, transports players inside a human cell and puts them in control. In this scientifically accurate worker placement game, players take turns directing the cellular action, like placing workers on available organelles and collecting resources. Players then invest those resources, detoxifying the cell and building enzymes, hormones, and hormone receptors, all of which score health points. The healthiest player at the end of the game wins. Let me show you how to play. So cytosis is played in rounds, which each of which is divided into two phases. In phase one, you place flasks to collect resources and take actions with the goal of completing these cell component cards like these and scoring health points. Uh, and in phase two, you refresh the board and an event card will be revealed. So every round, whoever has the first player marker, which is this, gets to go first and everyone takes turns placing her flask. Each player takes a turn, and wherever they place their flask, they immediately do that action. If you ever decide you don't want to do any of the uh, actions on the board, you can also exhaust your flask by tipping it over and collecting a single black RNA, yellow lipid, or ATP. These are resources you'll need for various tasks throughout the game. If a flask occupies a spot, no one else can take that spot for that round. So let's go through the different uh, spots. The nucleus up here, gives you black RNA cubes. Three if you go here, two if you go here. If you place a token on the free ribosome spot, you can translate your black mRNA from your personal stock and collect red proteins instead. So if I had three black cubes in my stock, I could change them to red. If you place a flask in the smooth ER with the lipid synthesis, you get that many yellow cubes, yellow lipids. Three, if I go here, three cubes. If I put my flask here, I can spend two ATPs and get two green carbohydrates. The mitochondria up here, if I place a flask here, I just get three ATP, easy as that. If I put a flask here, I spend a green cube and collect six ATP. Sometimes event cards will add extra resources to spots. For example, uh, the nucleus boost can add an additional mRNA cube to the nucleus, meaning whoever goes to the nucleus first and uses it gets an extra cube. Some more actions you can do is purchasing these cell component cards. At the beginning of the game, you will start with some, uh, but if you want more, you can place a flask in one of these spots. This one is free, one ATP, two ATP, three ATP. So if I go here and I want this card, I spend an ATP and this card goes into my hand. Now let's go on to completing those cell cards. If you look at a card like this, the steroid hormone, um, it gives you six points if you complete it. Now let's show you the exact steps on how to complete that. If I put a flask here, there are two things I can do. I can either do alcohol detoxification or steroid hormone synthesis. Alcohol detoxification is simple. If you have this card in your hand, you spend that many ATP and then you just play it in front of you and you get one health. Also, there's scoring for these at the end. I'll go into those later. Or if I have a steroid hormone card, uh, and here it says smooth ER, uh, then I can start the process of scoring this. What you do is you take one of your vesicle discs and put it here. Then you place a number of yellow cubes from your personal supply onto the disc. Since I'm trying to complete this card, I would put three yellow. You can also do the same thing in the rough ER. If I have one of these cards in my hand, very similar process, you put a flask here, you put one of your transport vesicles here, but in this case, you would instead return a number of black RNA from your stock and put the same number of red uh, proteins on the general supply. So if I had three black RNA, I can exchange them for three red and place them on that disc. The next step for either one of these discs is the Golgi apparatus. If a pink player puts a flask here, then they can move one of their discs down here. Then place one green carbohydrate or one yellow lipid onto that disc. In this case, I need a green carbohydrate. So I place it from my personal supply onto the disc. The final step for scoring 
is to place a flask in the plasma, plasma membrane. That's when you move one of these from the Golgi apparatus through the plasma membrane and out of the cell. So it'll just be taken off the board. And the card you're trying to complete, if it's this one, you place it in front of you. Now you have to pay the four ATP this card costs. And if you do, you'll score nine health points, which you keep track of around the board like this. Another card you can score is Enzyme, and that's through cytoplasm. An Enzyme card is very simple. All you have to do is play the card in front of you after placing a flask here, and you can just play all this directly from your stock. Two ATP, a green carbohydrate, two proteins. Just do that and play and get four health. These also score in a special way at the end of the game. Another action is Laureates in Biology. When you go here, you take the first player token. Now you get to be first player in subsequent rounds. Then you have an option. You can either take one ATP or you can place one of your goal markers of which you have two on one of these cards. These cards will score you points at the end of the game. Also, if you're the first person to place a goal marker on one of these cards, you get three bonus points. So for example, orange player might go here, get three health points. This card says steroid hormone receptors. Gain an additional three points for each steroid hormone receptor you completed this game. Uh, so you would, if you for each of uh, these cards that you have completed at the end, you'll get more points. The second player to do it won't get the bonus points, but they'll still score this at the end of the game. This one says gain an additional two points for each enzyme you completed this game. This one, two points for each steroid hormone, one point for each cell component card. Uh, there are different types of goals you can... Uh, lock on to. So we went through enzymes and hormones. Let's go into uh, hormone receptors. These are still scored the same way as hormones. Uh, however, when these are completed, uh, these score you points anytime new hormone cards are completed. Uh, so you'll get five health when you get them, when you make them. Um, but then anytime an opposing player completes, in this case, a steroid hormone card, one of these, all players with recept steroid hormone receptor cards get two points uh, for each that they've completed. Also, anytime you per, uh, complete a steroid hormone card, you will score one point for each uh, receptor card you have. Same thing goes for the protein hormone receptors. It just applies to protein hormones instead. There are also special macromolecule cards you can buy. These are just an anytime use, you just get the uh, reward. You spend, discard the card and you would, this one would let you collect four mRNA cubes. This one, you just play it, get two green carb cubes. Now, once everyone is done placing their flasks on the board, then you reveal an event card. This one says, respiration boost, add one additional ATP token to the mitochondria this round, meaning whoever does the mitochondria this round uh, will get an extra ATP token. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the events because those can be, you know, surprises. Another uh, option you have are the gray flasks. Before you place a flask, you can pay four ATP and take a gray flask and use it on any spot on the board, available or unavailable, and take the action associated with that spot. You can only do one per turn, and you must be able to take the action associated with that spot. Uh, so it's kind of like a free, a free action. Well, not free because you're spending four ATP. That's the meat of the game. You're collecting resources, using them to complete different cell component cards. At the end of the game, you'll, you'll score all the health points you had throughout the game, and then you also get bonuses for every four black mRNA cubes at the end is a point. Any four uh, yellow lipids is a point. Any three red proteins is a point. And any two green carbohydrates is also a point. Uh, now let's go into how some of these end game cards score. How alcohol detoxification cards work is you add up all the ATP on all of those cards uh, and see who it has the most on their cards. Whoever has the most gets eight points, second gets five points, and third gets two. In order to qualify, you gotta have at least one of these cards. If there's ever a tie, whoever has the most completed cards wins. If there's still a tie, there are other tiebreakers as well. The enzymes, which I mentioned before, these you score for how many different colors you have. So for example, this enzyme is kinase, if that's how you say it. The more of these you collect, like this one is iso isomerase. Uh, 
the more than you collect, the more points. Uh, uh, five different enzymes gives you 14 points. Four gives you nine, three gives you five, and it shows you on the bottom here. Uh, but yeah, the more different enzymes you collect, the better. Then, like I said, you would score points for any gold cards you had and what they say. Then at the end of the game, whoever has the most total health points wins. If there's a tie, whoever has the most completed cell component cards. Uh, and that's the game. You play flasks, collect materials, complete the cards through different ways, and score points. And yeah, that's the game. So like the other Genius games I've reviewed in the past, I thought this was a very solid game. Uh, first off, I appreciate that the iconography on the board is actually very clear on what each space does. You would think this would be a given in board games, but it's not. A lot of games fail at that. Uh, I think the overall art design and the iconography is very nice in this. It can be a little tricky at the beginning, keeping track of exactly how each type of card is scored and scores, like especially like, you know, the, the hormones being like three step and these ones are this way. And it can be a little wonky, but you know, once you get a handle on them, um, it, it's fun. The variety of ways that they score is fun and it keeps the other players on their toes. Because there's, you know, set collecting and there's, you know, for the alcohol ones, the most of that and gold cards and blah, blah, blah. There, it, it, it's fun. I do think, though, that because of, like, some of how they are, the ways that these cards are played, uh, it can be a little too clear what you have to do next. Like, if I get a hormone card, I go, okay, well, I gotta go for the Golgi and go for this and... You know, it, it can be a little like, okay, yeah, I already know what I'm going to do for my next, like, three turns. Which isn't a bad thing, but it can be a little a little simple. Overall, though, I think this game is a net plus. I don't think this game is, like, a game changer by any means, but... And I do think after a while it could definitely get repetitive. Um, but for a scientifically accurate educational game, I think this is a very solid, fun game. There is definitely a lot of thought put into this to make it not only accurate, but also entertaining. And I think both are very important. So, yeah, another really, like, impressive uh, educational game from this company.